Hi everyone, happy Wednesday. I am going to be cooking from our Greek meal kit tonight. I'm super excited about that. I had a question though first. If you are a tea drinker like me, if you like herbal tea like me, I'm not a black tea drinker, just different herbal teas, green teas, do you leave the tea bag in or do you take it out? I'm curious because I always leave my tea bag in because it gets like more flavor and it doesn't go bitter like black teas and stuff. So I was curious, am I weird that way that I leave it in there or do other people also leave that their herbal tea bags in their teas? So that's my first question for you tonight. So I am drinking tea tonight. What are you drinking? And I'm curious about my tea question. So what am I cooking from the Greek kit? So I discovered something this week. I'm super excited about because I didn't realize that it, they had changed them into the new season. So we have three meal kits. Yes, they changed that. I knew the product changed. I knew that you can get them with cookware, which is amazing. So the Greek kit now comes, you can get it with the sheet pan and the liner, and you can get it for half price as a host. So the cookware and all the products. So it comes with the Greek, the hummus, the new hummus is amazing. It comes with the lemon dilly and it comes with the souvlaki. Okay. So it does come with a different product. So instead of the spinach dip, it comes with the new hummus. But when I went and looked at these digital guides that I uploaded right here in this group, I uploaded those for you guys to also get. So I printed them off. And the discovery I made is they are not just the five recipes that, they, that used to be included in this guide. So now there is all kinds of different tips and prep, prep tips and nutrition tips. And for each, there's a page for each product. So each product has its own page where we give you five different ways to use that one product. How cool is that? There's also, of course, a recipe on the back of the jar, but this one's for the hummus. So it gives you a recipe for how to make chi uh, crispy roasted chickpeas, a recipe for garlicky, garlicky steamed cauliflower, apple hummus bites, which I'm really curious about because I would never think to like have apples and hummus together. So if any of you have tried apples and hummus together, please let me know because I've never tried it and I'm a little, uh, I'm a little afraid. Um, there's a salad dressing. There's also a dressing. So it's called a hummus thing dressing. And then there's also avocado hummus toast as a recipe. So each of these products has different recipes, five different ways to use them in this guide. So if you are buying a Mexican, Greek, or Asian kit, or if you already have the food products and cookware at home, print this guide off. It's so useful, it's so awesome. Um, and then the other piece that changed with it is it actually now, instead of five recipes, it actually now comes with eight recipes. It comes with eight different recipes that are perfectly balanced, tells you what to have on the side. It gives you the whole bit. And so I am super excited about that. And so I found a recipe in here that I thought would actually, I think I actually also found it on one of the 30 day meal plans. And then I noticed it was in here too. Or maybe I saw it in the catalog. I don't know. We have so many great meal plans. I don't even know which one I saw it on. But I posted it early to earlier today, so you're gonna to get to see me make the one I posted earlier. If you didn't see it, the recipe's down below. So it's a med pita burger. A med, I'm assuming med stands for Mediterranean. So Mediterranean pita, pita burger. I don't like saying med pita burger. I think it sounds better with Mediterranean pita burger. So that's what I'm making tonight. I'm gonna to show you that. And I thought it would make a really great lunch recipe also. And so this is what I'm gonna have for lunch tomorrow because I've already had dinner. So it's super easy to make and it's gonna be perfectly balanced and delicious and I'm super excited that I don't have to make lunch tomorrow. So thanks for joining me. And uh, so what I've got in here is, uh, so I'm just gonna follow the recipe right on here. So I've got ground chicken in here. I've got one pound of ground chicken and I'm going to add two tablespoons of the creamy garlic hummus dip. Man, that smells good. Okay two tablespoons of the hummus dip and then I'm gonna mix it all up and form it into patties so I'm gonna take I'm gonna just put my hair back here 
and I'm going to mix it all up. I really don't like touching it with my hands, but I'm going to have to. But before I touch it with my hands, I'm just gonna kind of get it mixed up with my three, three in one spatula here. So I'm gonna mix this up. I'm very curious how this is gonna smell. I'm gonna get my frying pan heated up here. I'm gonna unlock my stove. So funny fact, my, my controls are really sensitive and if my animals hop on here, they'll turn my oven on. So my oven has to be off all the time. So we just always have it locked out because my animals can turn, turn it on. So, and so we always have to be mindful and even like you could brush up against it and it could turn on. It's kind of crazy that way. So I've just, I'm just heating up the pan, getting some oil in there. I'm gonna form these patties. As they cook up, I'm gonna be also making a tzatziki dip. So um, if you have made tzatziki dip using Epicure before, comment. I wanna know if you've made the recipe, tried the recipe before. It's so easy to make. I don't know why anybody would buy it when it's so easy to make and it just tastes so much more fresh and it doesn't have any preservatives or additives in it when you make it on your own and you don't have to buy a big tub of it. So you make as much as you need, so it's not just taking up space in your fridge. Okay, so I'm going to kind of try and divide this into quarters here so I can kind of have even patties. And then I'm going to throw them on the frying pan, okay. So, making the patty, I'm gonna pop it on the pan and we'll let that cook up. Oh, this one is definitely bigger. I'm gonna add some to that one. You can feel it right away that it was bigger. I don't usually use ground chicken much, so it's kind of something different to use. This one is definitely, I didn't do a very good job of making them even, but it's all good. Yep, definitely didn't. If you're all laughing at me, that's fine. Because my first one was so much smaller. They kept getting bigger as I got deeper into this bowl. They're definitely not gonna be measured out evenly. That's all right. I'm sure they'll be enjoyed just the same. Okay, so this recipe makes four portions. So if I had more than four people eating, I would make a double batch. So anyone who has a bigger family, sometimes you have double batch stuff. So. All right. Um, all right, the messy part of the job is done, thankfully. Okay, so I'm going to make some veggies on the side. I'm gonna make kind of the toppings that are gonna go on the pita burger. So I'm gonna make the, the tzatziki. So I'm gonna show you how to make the tzatziki. I, you just need a cucumber and some plain Greek yogurt and Epicure's lemon dilly mix. That's all you need. And you need to find a, you need to have some sort of tool to thinly grate or um, julienne slice your cucumber and you don't need very much of it. So I'm actually gonna use the cucumber for two different things, but I'm gonna pop this flat plate out and I'm gonna use the plate with our mandolin that has like teeny tiny little slots for small julienne cuts. And I'm going to just go across it a couple of times just to get a little bit. I don't need a lot. And then I'm actually gonna grab a paper towel because I don't want it to be adding any extra water to the tzatziki. So you just kind of gotta squish it out, drain it out a little bit. And then I'm going to add it to the Greek yogurt with about a teaspoon. So I have about half a cup of um, Greek yogurt, just plain Greek yogurt. And I'm going to add a couple of teaspoons of the lemon dilly using our four-in-one spice spoon so I don't have to hunt for different sizes in my cupboard. 
I love that spoon. I think every kitchen should have a couple of them. It's nice and hot in the pan now. You can hear it sizzle. So then you just stir this up. That's it. That's how easy it is to make your tzatziki at home. It's just lemon jelly, plain Greek yogurt, a little bit of grated up cucumber, and you have like the perfect tzatziki made so, so fast. Now the other thing I was gonna do is make a couple of different things. I was gonna slice, use this to slice up my onion super thin. So I've just got a chunk of onion here to use up. And I'm just gonna thinly slice it here for a topping. So that is my favorite thing to use this mandolin for, onions, because I now have the perfectly perfectly sliced onions, thin slices. It wasn't a lot of work for me. And I won't hopefully start crying. I'm also gonna need to slice up some tomato. I'm going to use my ceramic knife for that one. I'm gonna use my ceramic knife to cut up the tomato. So I'm gonna just cut up slices of the tomato. I think every kitchen should also have a really sharp ceramic knife because it is sharper than steel and slices right through everything so, so easily. I feel like I should put a lid on that. I don't know if you guys can hear how loud it's sizzling, but it's really loud. So I hope you can still hear me. So really simple to slice up tomatoes, nice and thin, nice and thin slices with the ceramic knife, super sharp. When you use it to cut things like apples and lettuce, you don't end up, um, your, your apples and your lettuce and stuff don't go brown as fast, so that's one of the things I love about it. I'm gonna dry up the tomato juice a little before I cut the next thing. And I'm going to grab my silicone flipper. Silicone spatulas and flippers and everything are going to be back in stock. I'm so excited because I could talk about these all day long. I love them so much. Um, if you are looking, you're in the market for new kitchen utensils, put these on your wish list. Post the class, get them for free. They are amazing. Okay, so the chicken is about halfway done. So what I was gonna do with this, so the recipe called for um, sliced zucchini ribbons, but I feel like it would equally be good to have ribbons of cucumber. So I'm actually gonna do cucumber. Again, using the mandolin. I have it turned the wrong way. I have to turn my guard the right way. And then check that out. I don't know if you guys can see this, but it's perfect little ribbon to put on the pita. So I'm just gonna add those to the bowl because really I'm just prepping for lunch tomorrow. I'll show you guys tomorrow what my final product looks like when I put it together, I guess. Again, so easy. Look at that. Done so fast. I'm gonna lay ribbons on top of the pita under the burger. And then I'm gonna have some carrots on the side to dip into the tzatziki. So I wanted to show you my new peeler because I couldn't say enough good things about the peeler. I'm just checking on this. I'm gonna turn it down a little. I have it quite high. Okay. Alright, so the peeler, super easy, especially for carrots, just go back and forth, so I know most peelers can only go one direction, this one here, both directions, so you just keep twisting with one hand and peeling back and forth with the other, really great for making ribbons and salads too. So if you wanted to make ribbons for salads, you could easily go back and forth and have like giant ribbons to put into your salad. 
but I'm going to cut it into carrot sticks today. So the funniest thing is that I know a whole bunch of people have this, this um, peeler. It's brand new this season for our core catalog, but it, um, it has come out a couple of times in exclusive offers. And lots of people didn't know it goes back and forth. So I always have to point that out and share it. And chicken burgers are almost done. My tzatziki is done. I'm going to top it up with, so my toppings are going to be the, the cucumber ribbon, the tomatoes, the red onions, some spinach, and some feta cheese. So one of the things I love most about Epicure's recipes is the versatility because I can just take whatever vegetables I have and replace them in recipes. So you can really customize the recipe to what your family likes. Or if you're just trying to use up what you have, you can use what you have. It doesn't have to be the specific uh, ingredient. I have a friend begging me down here that I'm gonna just share a little carrot strip with here. So Roxy wanted, wanted that. So that is it. That's how fast and easy it is. All of these recipes that come, all of our recipes are raw ready in 20 minutes or less. And though so I just really wanted to share with you guys this, this meal kit brochure, because if you have these products, you wanna print these off and check out these recipes, because there is lots in here I'm gonna be sharing with you guys also, because there's some really cool recipes in here that I just discovered. So thank you so much for cooking with me. I'm gonna wrap this up and I'm gonna have it for lunch tomorrow. So I'll share a picture with you tomorrow. But as always, I appreciate you guys being here, sharing. I love seeing your recipes and your ideas. So make sure you share uh, your pictures with, with us in this group and share your recipes. You're welcome to share anytime. We love seeing your creations. And um, if you're interested in hosting your own class so you can get free products, I definitely would love to set that up for you. And if you are looking to make extra money from home and you love Epicure and you want that discount and you want to share with other people, of course, I've all, I would love to welcome you into my team and to work with you and work alongside with you and partner with you and help you be successful like you've all seen me grow to be successful with Epicure. I think it's just really awesome that we get to solve that every day everyday question of what's for dinner we get to take that stress away and make life easier for people and that's what i love most is the fact that we can take that stress away give you guys new ideas and give you the solutions to make quick and easy meals so that you can stay on track with your health goals and be able to still enjoy life and not be spending hours and hours doing prep and cooking because one of the things that i find most surprising is when people are tell me they spend like five hours on Sundays making like prepping for the week because my prep consists of grocery shopping and having the right foods in, in place. That's about it because all I all my meals come raw and ready in 20 minutes or less from scratch. So that's what I love. I just, I don't have to invest in that time and I can just make meals. I don't even do a lot of freezer meal type things because I just don't need to. This is just as fast and just as good and actually better because I really like eating fresh food. But thank you again for watching this week. I look forward to sharing with you again next week. Um, if you have any tips and tricks, make sure you share them. Thanks for being here. Have a great night. Bye.